what's up beautiful people amazing people how are you all doing how are you all doing you guys i hope you all are doing amazingly well you guys it's been a minute since i sat here to make a video for you guys i missed you all so much and you are welcome to another video i came across this video that is breaking literally breaking the internet and i thought i'd bring it on here because well why not you know how we do it <laughs> so please before we dive right into it please don't forget to like share subscribe if you haven't already turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video and with that being said let's get into it <laughs> guys before we get into today's video i want to first of all put a huge trigger warning on here because we are going to be talking about what happened in maui and also a topic that is trending relating to what happened in maui so if this is a bit triggering to you or brings back unpleasant memories please kindly click off of this video and also this video is for educational purposes only no bullying no harassment is supported on this page and also be kind to one another <laughs> but yeah let's get into it so guys just in case this is your first time hearing about this or seeing videos about what happened in maui a huge fire broke out and it's still unclear what started or caused the fire huge fire broke out with people hundreds of people losing their lives children missing allegedly it's the people who survived it unfortunately are now homeless a lot of people are speculating there's so many news there's so many videos floating around the internet of the reason why the fire started in the first place but recently the rock and oprah winfrey Dwayne the rock johnson and oprah winfrey has been receiving tons of backlash over a video they made talking about how they have started a foundation that is supposedly you know going to help the people of maui so they created this fundraiser foundation asking the public to donate and people are not finding this funny even though they say they themselves have donated 10 million i don't know if it's 10 million each but they say they've donated 10 million dollars and also they stated that unlike other foundations where you donate and you worry or wonder where your money is going any money donated to this foundation will be going straight into the hands of the locals of Maui. Check the video out. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting back and forth. And I read this article that Dolly Parton had given money in her community. And I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, I love it. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So if you send a donation, just click where you see below and send a donation. That money is going to go to one of many residents who have been displaced in Maui. We guarantee. That's right. I know a lot of people out there, as Oprah and I have been finding, are just uh, having a hard time trusting where the money goes, what organization should I send money to, how can I help. Uh, in this case, the fund that we created with a lot of hard work from a lot of hardworking people yeah. who all care about these people of, of Maui, uh, as Oprah was saying, it is a clean, direct, from you, directly to their hands, and right away with some real immediacy, because as we're finding, as you guys around the world know, with disasters like this, the number one need is money. Is money, is money. In hand. And, and so people being that. able to have their own agency, being able yes. to make decisions for themselves about what they need and what their family needs, that's our goal, is to get that to the people now. And so we appreciate any support that you can give all the people who were calling me and texting me and messaging me and saying, what do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. <laughs> you know. The People's Fund of, of Maui. Maui. <laughs> well, that is the video, you guys. And since this video came up, a lot of people are not buying it. People are seriously kicking against this video and they are dragging Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Let's first of all, take a look at the ratio between the likes and the comments in this video. But by the time I came across this video, you can see how so, so low the likes are in comparison to the comments. Like check the comments out. 
the amount of comments people are leaving under this video. And they are also going as far as making videos, calling them out. But before we check out what people are saying, I was pretty curious. So I took a sneak peek into the comment section and I took a screenshot for you guys. I took a couple of screenshots here and there for you guys just to show you guys a sneak peek of how the comment section looks. You guys, people are pissed. Like people are so, so angry. And when you really look at it, these people are rich. Like Dwayne is a millionaire. Oprah is a billionaire. And they also said, I mean, they said they donated 10 million. I don't know if it's 10 million each, but then again, they said they donated 10 million and people are not buying it as people are calling them out saying they can both fix what happened in Maui. They can build the houses if they want to. Why are they asking the public who can't even afford groceries? Why are they asking people to donate? Like, what do you guys think? But yeah, let's see what people are saying. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui. Oh, shut up. Between you and him combined, there are $3.3 billion of net worth that you could be... Fuck is you asking us to donate for? Y'all have a whole network of celebrities. Y'all got a whole... Because the only thing that's going to happen... First of all, half of you done bought up like damn near 900 acres of the land in Maui. And I'm so tired of celebrities, billionaires at the very fucking least, asking us who can't afford groceries, nobody can afford to live on their fucking own with a full-time minimum wage job to donate for y'all to get a tax break. And you looking at 3.3 combined billion dollars amongst two people on a fucking screen asking us to give you money for a foundation to give back to the people who lost their land that you bought. Girl, shut up. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui. That's rich. Mm. That's rich, Oprah. Um, and tell them, anybody who donates to your Maui Fund, um, by clicking that link, y'all now have our bank information forget to tell them that we'll put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now okay this video is deeply concerning on many levels to be standing in the exact spot where the people are be asking someone who's not there for money so in this video they talk about you talk about being concerned about the money going to the wrong people and the the in-betweens of charitable organizations you're standing right there both of you yeah you could just go down and write the checks yourselves I feel like you both need new handlers because this is very out of touch, like very touched and out of reality. For instance, if you had like decent handlers, they would tell you to just give the money out and then you could come back and say, hey, I gave this much money, like love to get it back. But you didn't even have the wherewithal to even do that. This is like unlocks a new level of evil in my opinion, because you're watching someone who is just like lying and do deceitful right in your face. And you're just like, are you really saying this to me? Am I really, do you really expect me to believe this? Are you so out of touch with reality that you don't understand that most of the society is starting to despise you and everything you stand for? Also saying it while you're standing, probably on, you're buying up all of their land. Are you out of your mind? It's, I don't, it's, don't answer. I don't need you to answer. It's very clear. The water is rising on people and you have the high ground, but you're like, no, no, stay down there and help each other. Don't come up here. Like you could be building housing for these people right now on the acreage that you own that is theirs. That belongs to them. But you're over here playing in our faces like this and you brought the rock into it. Like my man, you're, do you're done. And also like who put you on? You don't have a manager who told you this was not a good idea. Like that's what's funny about this. These people in Hollywood, like you guys need to get people who are in touch with reality on the ground floor, like walking on the streets, not jumping into a car service or whatever you guys are doing because it doesn't read the way you think it doesn't and the fact that the video is still up gives me a great deal of shenanigan suspicion you saw the con i saw the comments i know you saw the comments why is the video still up also very strange for someone who's been associated with like trafficking at their own institutions in africa oprah you if you see this to be like even casually fooling around like this like babe you this is not for you Don't ask us for money we cannot buy food groceries we cannot buy homes anymore you're someone who's helping people on that island not be able to buy homes because again you, you were buying up all their land so also you might want to talk to your friend i think mark zuckerberg lives on the islands as well on the island of maui you might want to just get him to pay his taxes or maybe your friend jeff to pay his taxes and then we can help these people out yeah you want to try that before you come ask us for money but the brazenness like i said is very concerning to me mm, say it say it isn't so I don't know what this is about, but it makes me incredibly suspicious. So too, like the tax write-off you're gonna get for starting this foundation, like you think you think people don't notice what you're doing? 
it's a good thing you already live in the hills so you don't have to run very far to get to them because that type of stuff like we're not doing this anymore also we know how to find individual victims so like we can just directly donate to them and get the tax breaks ourselves so we don't need you i feel like you're waiting to see the comments for some sort of weird intelligence gathering like these are the people who had something to say about it well put me down as one I also can't wait until the internet finds out like who's actually involved in the rehabilitation of that space and finds out that you somehow probably are likely involved, allegedly, TikTok, in like the rebuilding and you probably get some kickback from that as well. So you're just probably gaining from this destruction and now you're just coming in our faces and trying to get a tax write off. Like, mm. don't do it again. Leave us alone. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting. Honestly. The nerve of these two people who have enough money to buy Maui. <laughs> Why are you asking regular people? Most of us are struggling right now. You're not. You, you fund this. That's number one. Number two, you don't say anything and I can't find anywhere what the criteria is for people to get this money. You know? Who's going to make that decision and what is the actual criteria? These are very important issues and you don't discuss any of that. It's important to know what the criteria is. This is such bullshit. You people have the nerve, the audacity. Fund it yourself. All the people who were calling me and texting me and messaging me and saying, what do I do? Yeah, check out that ratio, and rightfully so. Such a bummer about The Rock, though. Um, that's my favorite clip of him. Oprah and all the people who are calling her and texting her and asking her what to do can give the land back. You get your land back, and you get your land back. Yeah, that billionaire and millionaire donated 10 million to get it started, but look at the 18 and counting million that the peasants have raised. This is my top clickety, but use the helper sheet that I'm showing you a screenshot of, tagged in my caption, so that you can focus on the families that are underserved. Even though most of us are a paycheck away from being on the streets ourselves, I really appreciate and I'm so proud of everyone for pulling together. Shout out to Oprah's comment section for passing the vibe check. Oprah's got all that land. If she really wants to give it back, there's a start. Did the richest woman in the world just ask us for money? More united than it feels, you guys. Just go meet your friends and fam in the comments. Eat the rich. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting back. I know this is going to sound like crazy and probably a little immature but i never in my life wanted stone cold steve austin to just appear out of nowhere and stone cold stun two people more in my life i just never wanted that to happen more than today 2023 and i watched wrestling in the early 2000s when this gentleman and stone cold would wrestle and i've seen this man stone cold stun the wife of the president of the WWE and it was hilarious I would love for just Stone Cold Steve Austin to just come out of nowhere and Stone Cold stun these motherfuckers into oblivion it's crazy how much I desire to see that right now need is money is money is money in hand into donation glory be to God absolutely pathetic as they're in Hawaii, in Lahaina. Evil for Lahaina. L, Lucifer, right degree angle, right hand angel to God. House for Horus, your bird eye, your third eye. It's adrenochrome. Like Bart, Bart Simpson. It's an underground railroad network in the Bay Area. This is all about transporting in route. It's underground tunneling networks, net worth. How much of a mockery is this? They do all of this stuff in front of us in broad day, and I'm just happy some people are able to actually call them out now. Thank you. I don't feel so alone, all one, out here anymore. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting back. Let me ask you a question. Why does big money always ask for little money? They're millionaires. They could do this, the two of them alone, and could handle everything, and then write that shit off. It's so hard to watch these two porch raisins ask us for money when some people can't even afford fucking groceries. I mean, nice of you two blue roof millionaires to ask with your houses all safe and sound, but get your millionaire friends to help you. Leave us blue collar Americans alone. We're too busy actually working for our fucking money. The fuck? We have created the People's Fund of Maui. 
that why don't you just call up your good buddy Biden? He sent billions, hundreds of billions to Ukraine. We have plenty of money going in from our taxes. We have plenty to take care of Maui. The irony of a fucking billionaire whose mansion did not get touched. You send them money. You and all your rich friends. How about Hollywood all donates? And we keep track of how much you guys send to Maui. You could rebuild that entire town if you wanted to. But we all know what you're up to. All those acres of land. All those missing kids. You're in on it. And we, the people, know it. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting back. Nah, because I'm stitching her directly. Oprah, how dare you get on TikTok and make a video about how you've created a fund for us? The American public who are also suffering with no health care, who in times of emergency have to spend thousands of dollars, more than our rent, by the way, to take an ambulance to go to the hospital. You're asking us to send in money, you and The Rock. You've each given 10 million. Great. Good job. You don't have to announce that. Why don't you silently crowdfund from your friends who oddly enough have homes on Maui that were untouched including your own Oprah but you don't know how that happened do you Oprah you don't know you have no clue how that happened interestingly enough tiktokers on this app have proven that it was our government that was behind the fires why don't you petition our president with the platform that you have. Petition our president. Petition the American government, who, by the way, just sent $6 billion to Ukraine by mistake. That was our money. That was our tax dollars that should have gone to help our people. Hawaii is a nation of people. I used to live there. It's a nation of people. Who should have never been a state? But now that they are a state, we have the responsibility to help them as a government, not as individual people. As a government. Petition our government, Oprah. You know, I was on a show last night because I'm a comedian. As not funny as this video is, I am. And one of my fellow comedians said something really interesting. She said... People all become white when they get money. Just look at Oprah. Congrats for proving her point. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting. Oh, I bet you were. How shocking, how shocking that a group of people who could literally cure world hunger are asking the most broke people on earth for money. Now I am all for I am all for donating to Maui, but not through this, not through you. What was it like being there when the fire started, Oprah? What was it like bringing your camera crew into videotape, probably for some sketchy documentary on Netflix that won't give you the full details, which we are so, we are so used to. What was it like putting a camera in the faces of those who have just lost 2,000 children, their families, their houses, everything. What was that like? Did it feel good? You people make me fucking sick. I'm, I'm like, you make me sick to my stomach. Why don't you, why don't you rent out your, your mansions? Why don't you pitch up little freaking houses on the thousands of land you and Marky own together? Bill Gates, no one wants to jump in, right? Knowing you know the history of Maui, I assume. I bet you, I bet you do. Remember back in the day on the Oprah show? You get one, you get one, and you get one. Whatever happened to that shit, bro? The video I put out tomorrow will have all the details. All the details about what kind of person you are and who you hang out with. I've had it up to here with Hollywood with all of them. All of them. Actually, I have an amazing idea. I have an idea. How about you purchase all the land that just burned to the ground and give it back to the people? How about you and your buddies get together... And you 
get money together because we can't even afford to pay groceries right now, okay? You know, everybody, Oprah, you're literally probably one of the, if not the richest females in our country. How about you guys go buy that land back and give it back to the people you're trying to steal it from, allegedly. How about that? And then everyone can tag all their Hollywood stars. They're all their favorites. Tag them and, and let them know of this idea. We'll call it Hollywood Gives Back. Finally. We'll call it that. Donating to charities. Paying them to keep their mouth shut about shit. That doesn't count. Allegedly. Bye. All right. So Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson, you know, the guy that plays the same character in every fucking movie decided to take it upon themselves to ask you for your money to donate to their fundraiser. These motherfuckers are worth millions, if not billions, but they're asking you for your money. Gas prices everywhere is damn near $5. Rent is crazy. Inflation is crazy. We got Sleepy Joe in office. We got a corrupt system, but they want your money. They never cease to amaze me, man. Like, are they doing this shit on purpose? How stupid. Like, how stupid do you think we are as a people to send the last little bit of money to you motherfuckers fundraiser so you all can write it off in text and collect? And who knows? Majority of that money that we send in won't even make it to the great nation of Hawaii. You can't make this shit up, man. I'm telling you, you can't make this shit up. The audacity of these motherfuckers sitting here on video, bro. <laughs> and Dwayne, Dwayne just smiling. You know, he's he's doing his little sexy acting, his little sexy, he thinks it's sexy. He's doing his little acting, smiling at the camera and shit with the little fucking model smile. I don't think nothing funny. I don't think nothing funny. This motherfucker sitting here smiling. I don't think nothing funny, man. That city was destroyed and this country, countries, on the brink of not only war, but brink of just destruction. Nobody can afford nothing. But this motherfucker here, smiling, while she sit there, we're fucking, ah, oh, these motherfuckers, man. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we- We gave half of our money, like all of the millions of dollars to the people of Maui and we just wanted to send a message to ask if anybody else can help chip in. No wait, that's not what you said. The problem is, the people of Maui have unveiled the curtain behind you. Tell me, Oprah, why are the people of Maui telling us lawyers and real estate agents who, one way, shape, or another, work for you have been giving them push to sell their property to your real estate agents and your lawyers. Also, you mean to tell me you only came to the realization of all this shit only eight hours ago from when I first saw your post? Also loving the 5,000 likes and 13,000 comments. I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, I love it. Straight facts, no chaser. Hey, Oprah, what's up, Rod? I love what you guys are doing, but I had to go to your website to find out exactly what that is. This video does not summate the brilliance that you guys have put together. You guys are literally talking about Dolly Parton, you guys texting back and forth. All that nonsense makes no sense. Then you had to disclaim it, not being a grifter, the money's gonna go to them. We never worried about you, Rod. We know you got money and we ain't worried about you taking ours and doing some kind of craziness with it. So why'd you have to go there? It made no sense to me. Literally, this video should have been, hi, I'm The Rock. Hi, I'm Oprah. Well, we came together and put $10 million of our own money together and we want you guys to be a part of this whole process of healing Maui. So we're asking you to put in a dollar, whatever it may be, to be able to help these people out. We're raising a million from the people. We're going to have all these different... Uh, major organizations providing resources and products so that they can get back on their feet. And guess what? $1,200 a month for each person that's going through it until they get back on their feet. Be a part of the process of rebuilding Maui. I'm Oprah. I'm The Rock. Mahalo. Whatever it is that oh, a Rock does all the time. And that would have been it. 
We would have got a little bit of, of, of Oprah's character. We would have got a little bit of Rock's character. It would have not have been your celebrity that we was caring about. It would have been about what you were doing. The focus should have been on the people that you were trying to help and why you need our money. Tell us that you already got some skin in the game and we ain't doing nothing but putting in one-tenth of what you're doing totally, but together we're putting in little fractions of what you guys are putting in. I don't feel like it's grifting. I feel like I'm being a part of this whole big plan that you guys putting together. I want to come back and check up on it and see what you guys have done. All this and that would have been wonderful. But instead, you guys talked about you and asked us for money and didn't tell us about what you were going to do except for you put all these people together. We don't care about all that. If we're helping people, just let us know how we can help and what you're doing as well. So that we know, we know that we're in this together. It's not just our money. You do understand it looked like you guys were not going to put in a dime. You're just using your celebrity and asking us for money. It's like, what? The regular people can barely afford gas right now. And here y'all are talking about all this giving you money. And you guys are sitting right now in heaven where everybody wants to be. You see that beautiful backdrop you guys had? It looked like it cost a million dollars to stand where you're exactly standing at that moment. Opulence. And you're asking the poor people to help without telling them you're scanning the game. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. People, please go to this fund. Check it out. Find out what they're doing because it really does seem like they're doing some greatness for the people and they don't need that much from you. They've already put in $10 million and I'm sure they're going to put in other resources, bringing all these, different, you know, Oprah, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. I know they're thinking about different major corporations and companies to be able to get these people shoes, clothes, food and everything else. It's just not said in this video. So please go check their video their website out. I don't know the name of the top of my head. Check out the video. And then be a part of, it, part of it if you can. If not, it's cool. It really is. But Oprah, Rock, come on. Y'all can't be these mega actors and producers and not see that you were talking above the people and not to the people. Just wanted to give my two cents. Got nothing against you. Love you both. I speak facts, straight facts, no chaser. And this is just my tagline. I have no ill will towards you two. Fuck your feelings. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui. You're about three weeks too late. So let me get this straight. You created a fund that can be a tax write-off for you so that we can donate. What are you donating, Oprah? What about your 2,000 acres in Maui? Are you gonna give some of that to the people who are literally having the land they own bought out from underneath them by the government? And guess what? There already is a people's fund. You see, the past three weeks, when people like you, the billionaires of Maui, along with the government, FEMA, and Red Cross, didn't step up and help these people, they created their own fund. We have their Venmos. You can go to the link in my profile to see. Why would we give our money to someone that has $3.5 billion? You could help all these people, just you alone. But no, instead, you're probably gonna buy up more land, aren't you? Like I said, you're a little late to the game. While you were posting pictures at Beyonce's concert, people were grieving their loved ones, trying to figure out where they were gonna spend the night. So Oprah, I think you need to dig into your own pockets Maybe offer someone to stay at your huge estate, help some families in need, and do the right thing. How about use your celebrity status to bring attention and awareness to the fact that complete corruption is happening right now. Everything from the sirens not going off, not having the water working to put out the fires, having police barricades to where people couldn't leave, the fact that there are 2,000 and 25 school children unaccounted for right now? Why don't you spend your time doing that instead of making these cute videos about your fund? I keep seeing videos about The Rock and Oprah raising money for the Maui Fund. My name is Ashley. I've been a professional fundraiser for over 20 years. I think like 25 plus at this point. Let me explain something to you. The word fund means 
that it is a fund or a bank account, if you will, inside of a nonprofit. A nonprofit is managing it. What nonprofit is it? I will tell you. The Entertainment Industry Foundation. This is a fund, the Maui Fund is within the Entertainment Industry Foundation. I read a lot of 990s on my page. I haven't in a while, but let's look at it. A 990 is the tax return, if you will, uh, that every nonprofit has to submit, just like we submit our taxes. And every nonprofit's 990 is open for public inquiry. It literally says that on the 990, open for public inquiry. So let's inquire. When you go to the fund's website, they're saying that they're going to give $1,200 for each adult who lives in either Lahaina or Kula. I don't know what the duration of that $1,200 is, and then you also have to verify that you actually live there. It could be a homeowner or a renter, but you cannot own property there and not live there. You're not going to be qualified. The form for residents to apply looks great. This is actually a really big deal to implement uh, from a nonprofit perspective. The only thing I don't like, and all these nonprofits do this, none of your business. It's none of your business if anybody's receiving state or federal be uh, benefits. It's not your business. I don't know why nonprofits ask for this data. Here's more information about the fund. I love that they have an accessibility thing down here. You know, if you have trouble filling it out, you need help, you can call this number. That's awesome. Every single nonprofit, as long as they filed their taxes, will have a 990 available. You can either go on an IRS website or you can go to ProPublica, which is my personal favorite. Do not go to any of these other websites, in my opinion, because they're just fishing for your address when this is publicly available information. And ProPublica doesn't bug me about that stuff. So this is their tax filing from 2021. These are the salaries of the executives. There are 13 executives that get paid a total of $3,211,292. Listed in the 990, there are 29 individuals that also receive over $100,000 in compensation, which leaves 69 employees left because they state in their 990 they have 98 total employees. That leaves 69 employees with an average salary of $64,527. Based off what they've said in this video, Oprah and The Rock have created a special fund and every single dollar that is donated to this Maui fund that's managed by the Entertainment Industry Foundation is going to go to this cause. It's just like setting up a special bank account just for certain expenses. That's really what that means. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, why don't they donate their own money? Y'all are absolutely right. Statistically speaking, 90% of your donations are going to come from 10% of your donors. So I don't know why the public is being asked, uh, but, you know, to each his own. I do really like the way that the website is. It's, it's difficult to launch something like this very quickly. So I applaud them for that. But just stop asking for people's personal information about the benefits. If you say you're going to help everybody, just help everybody and be done with it. It's nobody else's business. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. I haven't covered this in a long time, just, you know, because I do this stuff every day. So I like to talk about other things on my TikToks. But um, I hope that clears it up. If, remember, if you ever hear the word fund, it's not a separate nonprofit. It is a set aside monies that are within a nonprofit that a nonprofit manages. Okay. Oprah and The Rot just released this video asking us to donate money for the victims of the Maui wildfires. The number one need is money. Is money. Is money. In hand. Into donation. Just so I had a visceral reaction to this. And so I went to the comment section to see if any of the 1,700 comments here were what I was feeling. Just a reminder, this is Oprah's net worth with a B. This is The Rock's net worth with an 800 M. Now in the caption, it says that they're donating $10 million. It doesn't say each though. $10 million is a drop in the bucket for these two. They could write a check to every single person who lost their home and still be a billionaire and a multi, multi millionaire. And here are some of the comments. You are effing billionaire. Are you serious right now? Asking for people to give donations. You have more money than most people have in 10 lifetimes. These people. 
what in the actual delusional. This one's actually constructive. Why not get the rest of, of the celebrities together and ask them to donate? Ask your billionaire friends, not us common folk who can't afford our own grocery. But then you've got the capitalist bootlickers in here defending them. Who are you to tell someone what to do with their own money? Not her obligation, loser. They donated 10 million. The people who defend the rich may be my least favorite people. These are people who could solve the world's problems. They have all the world's resources. They could prepare our communities for climate change. They could lift people out of poverty. They could house the homeless and still be rich. But there's a delusion you have when you are super rich. And as evidence, I present to you how they opened this video. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting back and forth. And I read this article that Dolly Parton had given money in her community. And I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, I love it. They didn't open talking about the victims. They didn't talk about the loss of life. They didn't talk about the loss of property. What they talked about was I, me, me, me. I was texting. I was reading an article about my friend Dolly Parton, another billionaire. See what I mean? It's an ego thing. What they should do is take this video down and get all of their rich friends together and just write checks to every single person who lost property in Maui. Money in her community. And I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, I love it. And so we have- These two are getting dragged for this video and one of the reasons they're getting dragged is something that I teach my clients. So I want to make sure to highlight it here. Because I really think all of us have this very real fear of being canceled. And I'll be honest, if Oprah can get canceled, or at least dragged, what chance do the rest of us have, right? So conceptually, what they're doing is okay. They're saying, if you want to donate, but you don't know where your money's going, and you want to make sure it's a safe place, we've set up a space that we, you can be sure your money will go directly to the people. But that's not what they said. They said, I was reading an article about my other really super wealthy friend, and so I called this other third wealthy friend, and the three of us decided we have a way to get your money to Maui. Pretty tone deaf to the struggles that most people are going through. And they didn't talk about the people of Maui. They talked about themselves. They were the main character in this piece of content about a tragedy. The second character in this was money, something they have more of than anybody who's seeing the video. So what they should have done was make the main character the people of Maui, and the secondary character, people who were looking for a place to donate and help a little and feel like they were part of solving this awful tra tragedy and give them a place that's a safe place to donate while noting that they had already donated substantially. When you are creating your content, you are never the main character. And that is especially true if you're doing any kind of nonprofit or community work. Don't be a business that comes on here and talks about the great stuff you're doing in the community and forget to center the community you're helping and just center how good of a job you're doing as a business. It's pretty much what they just did. And it's also troubling because Oprah could single-handedly solve this herself and not even notice the lack of money. She's a billionaire and I don't know, he's, he's a multimillionaire. Your content should never center you. It should always center the people you are here to serve and help. And this is a perfect example of what happens when you don't do that. Anyway, you guys, that is it for the video. Please leave your thoughts and let me know what you think at the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next one. Stay blessed and much love. Bye.